coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Raptor Aircraft makes a successful first flight, barely. Also, P-92 Echo Mark II certified to new German 600 kilogram regs. And here we go again, Jetpack spotted flying over LAX. Thank you for joining us this Monday. We hope you enjoy your weekend. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest stories you don't want to miss. So let's start with a video that will get your heart rate up. Raptor Aircraft makes a successful first flight, barely. Several days ago, the first flight of an experimental aircraft headed to the kid aircraft market someday took to the skies. The Raptor Aircraft made bold promises. The designer, Peter Muller, claims the Raptor is an extremely spacious five-place pressurized composite aircraft with a 62-inch wide cabin with a possible top speed of 300 knots. It will come equipped with an optional BRS airframe parachute, constant speed propeller, and anti-lock brakes. It's like a luxury SUV for the sky. Last week, he grabbed a helmet, mounted it up, and attempted to fly the aircraft out of the Valdosta Regional Airport. He posted the video of the short test flight and many people watching were nervous. The video demonstrated that the aircraft had a very long takeoff roll, visible issues with the landing gear, a very poor climb rate, serious and observable control issues in pitch, as well as some lateral issues. Not to mention a power plant that was over temping all of this happening in a three-minute flight. If the flight did not scare you enough, and if it ever hits the market, it's going to cost you about $130,000. Coming up, I'll tell you who became the U.S. Navy's 35th and 36th honorary naval aviators. We've been using Swift Fuels for five years. We use it on two different Rotax-powered aircraft. Swift Fuel gives us the power we need, the reliability we need. We've also found that it has a very long shelf life. It runs clean. We don't have to scrub gunk out of our oil tank. It makes a huge difference compared to 100 low lead. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. With so much going on in the aviation industry, we're going to give you a quick rundown of some of the most interesting stories you don't want to miss in this brief segment we call Around the Patch. During a brief ceremony held at Paramount Studios, film producer Jerry Bruckheimer and actor Tom Cruise became the U.S. Navy's 35th and 36th honorary naval aviators. The designations were presented by the commander of Naval Air Forces, Vice Admiral D. Wolf Miller III. As honorary naval aviators, Brueggemeyer and Cruz are authorized to wear the wings of gold of a U.S. naval aviator. The new Top Gun movie, Maverick, is scheduled to premiere on July 2, 2021. Edwards Air Force Base hosts its first ever hybrid air show. They held their first air show in more than 10 years at Edwards Air Force Base, California on October 9th and 10th, dubbed Aerospace Valley Air Show 2020. The event was a so-called hybrid air show. The base features interactive 360-degree photos showcasing the various aircrafts assigned to the base. The base also conducted a parade of aircrafts in the sky over the local community, including Antelope, Valley, Bakersfield, the Victor Valley, Barstow and Fort Irwin. Women in Air Force exhibit coming to a national museum. 
as the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which gave women voting rights, is being commemorated this year. The National Museum of the U.S. Air Force is honoring women with a new exhibit titled Women in the Air Force from Yesterday into Tomorrow, which highlights achievements in their civilian and military careers with an emphasis on the U.S. Air Force and its predecessors. Someone's going to have to pay a hefty penalty after allegedly not following the FAA's rules. The FAA proposed a civil penalty of more than $464,000 against American Southwest Inflatables and Oxygen, Inc. for allegedly performing unauthorized and improper maintenance work on emergency equipment. The FAA alleges that between June of 2018 and January 2019, the Miami-based company performed unauthorized and improper maintenance on two evacuation slides and one safety rack and installed them on a Boeing 737. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. The P-92 Echo Mark II certified to new German 600 kilogram regs. Technum has confirmed the certification of the P-92 Echo Mark II light aircraft to the new German 600 kilogram rules. The latest version of the EASA basic regulation that allows for 600 kilograms MTOW ultralight aircraft under the control of the CAAs of the member states. Germany is the first country to declare the opt-out, implementing the new regulation German 600 kilogram technical LTFUL 2018 rules. It is also the first country to develop and publish the necessary airworthiness requirements for these aircrafts, delegating the certification process to the DULV agency. Technum strongly believes in the new certification since it is not being limited to the German market, but this type of approval is recognized in several EASA countries. This provides improvement in capabilities and performances while maintaining the distinctive characteristics of the legacy P-92 series. The P-92 typical short field performances, climb characteristics, and efficiency are now teamed up with the Echo Mark II streamlined composite fuselage, granting solid cruise performances in great comfort. After these messages, yet another mysterious sight in the sky over LAX, but it wasn't a plane or a bird, or even Superman. I'll tell you what they think it was after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher, or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Introducing the new ELT 345 from Artex. This emergency locator transmitter or ELT boasts an industry low price while providing the same quality and performance on which the Artex brand was built. GPS data is embedded within the first emergency transmission and provides search and rescue personnel with the aircraft location within 100 meters in less than a minute. Take to the skies knowing you have the highest performing and reliable equipment on board. View our selection of ELTs and safety products at www.artex.com. Artex, your best last chance. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. In August, you may remember reports of a jetpack and pilot flying high altitudes near LAX is back for round two. Another sighting was filed with the LAX tower as pilots from an inbound Chinese Airlines flight reported another sighting at 6,000 feet. There was no radar return like before and no one saw anybody land nearby. Experts remain doubtful it was another jetpack because the technology is not advanced enough to allow it to fly that high. Jetpack expert and designer David Mayman laughed at the report, saying in a quote, The technology is just not there yet, pointing out that jetpacks only get about 7 minutes flying time, going up as high as 3,000 feet. David goes on to say, 
there is not enough power to have the ability to loiter in the airspace long enough to be spotted by two separate aircrafts. Well, we may not know what it was this time, but if it happens again, the mystery could potentially be solved. That does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently operating on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday and Friday with Airborne Unmanned alternating with Airborne Flight Training every Wednesday. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.